Yo, what is going on, Comfy Gang? It's your boy, Comfy Neat. And um, today I wanted to talk about something that I guess you guys might be wondering about, and it's why I'm so paranoid about my parents listening in on me. So, um, yeah, uh, I guess an obvious reason would be that things that I'm talking about are extremely, um, I guess, taboo, like being neat and um, I guess being like an Aspie maybe, although I don't know if they suspect I have it or not. Or actually, I mean, I don't even know if I have it, so that's besides the point. But um, yeah, it is pretty taboo, pretty hard to explain, and I'm pretty sure they'd not be too happy if they found me identifying with being neat. But aside from that, there's, I guess, a couple of things in my past that have sort of made me, you know, paranoid about my privacy. Like, if you look at me react to, like, footsteps, I kind of look like one of those, like, you know, like a deer when it hears, like, a hunter, like, step on a branch. Like, I just go, like, you can literally see the fight or flight response in me. And that's probably the case when you've gone through something traumatic. And although I'm not going to say what I went through was particularly traumatic, it probably is contributing to the way I'm acting. So um, I guess long story short, um, you know, in particular, my mom has always been up in my business. Um, she's done a lot of things in the past that, especially growing up when I was in like middle and high school that have made me, um, you know, not trust her. Um, like, I think she's like, listen, she always, she always, oh, fucking hell. She's always been sort of nosy, and I guess that's normal for like most moms, but she's been, I guess I think maybe more, maybe more nosy than other parents. And um, I guess there's this one story I want to tell that happened to me when I was in like middle school, let's say like seventh or eighth grade. And um, I think at that time, like my mom's a helicopter parent, so she would always uh, ask for like, the website that my school would like post homework on because I guess my school did that and she would also ask me for like login info for like I'm not sure if you guys have heard of like blackboard but it's like this online like portal thing where I guess classes post homework assignments and whatever so she would ask for that stuff and um I guess incidentally so because of that I didn't really think too much of it when she kind of asked me for like my school email because our school made us log to these like school hosted gmail accounts so she kind of just asked me I forget, I forget the reason why but i guess i was maybe too naive too trusting so i basically gave my like my login info to her thinking that she's she said she's only gonna like check once or something like this to do something maybe like check i, I don't I have no idea honestly but I gave the, her the login info and um, that was pretty much that for like a long time. And you know, I'm pretty sure in between then and the incident that happened that made me lose a lot of trust in her, um, you know, I was doing all sorts of things like chatting with like, I guess friends when I, you know, I was still, when I still had them, <laughs> when I still wasn't a complete degen, um, chatting with friends about, I think I was crushing on this girl at the time. So, <laughs> I was pretty much <laughs> asking them stupid shit like, do you think she likes me, blah, blah, blah. All the typical like teenage like drama bullshit, like when you're still, I guess, kind of innocent, asking them if I think they have a chance and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. And then all that kind of embarrassing stuff and, you know, private stuff that you kind of want to not talk about to your parents and other things as well, like talking shit to some of my friends maybe or you know, basically not doing my homework. But anyways, um, I guess I forget the reason why, but, you know, I kind of suspected that my mom might be on my um, email account looking at my messages. This is like several months later. So one of my friends was asking it, asking me something that was kind of private. So I was like, um, so I was like, uh, yeah, I just, I typed like, oh, just, uh, just give me like, maybe, maybe tell me in person because my spot, my spot, my quote unquote spy bitch of a mom, 
might, might be looking might be looking at this right now and i shit you guys not within within literally a minute of typing this <laughs> i hear stomping ominously approaching my room and at this point i'm like oh shit and then immediately my mom just not even doesn't even knock just literally turns the doorknob really hard and like kind of like like you know, i'm still like that you know like just like literally goes postal um <laughs> like swings the door wide open to like hits the wall and she's like what the like what did you say about me do you call me do you call me a bitch i'm your mom like you're really using this language to describe me after all i've done for you you really call me a bitch and blah, blah 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 she starts chewing me out and at this point i'm just like oh god what have i done but at the same time it's like firstly you know i was obviously joking because like who seriously like says like call someone a spy bitch like it's kind of like if you call someone like a sneak bitch or like a i don't know like it's kind of like tongue in cheek i guess it's like a joke right like my spy oh like oh my spy bitch of a mom might be <laughs> looking through my messages and secondly like okay first of all you shouldn't be spying on my private chats anyways like that's between me and my friends like why would you go out of your way and read so it's like and all these thoughts are run, are like flashed to my head like has my mom been reading my messages this entire time has she been you know seeing all the embarrassing crap and like see because i kind of noticed that sometimes when i pass by her and she was on her laptop she'd be like secretly giggling and i don't know if that was just me being paranoid or not or like at the time like drawing that false connection but i was like yeah has she been like reading all this embarrassing crap that was i guess pretty private to me at the time like obviously i know that it doesn't really matter that much nowadays but when you're a teenager and you're developing emotionally um i guess you kind of that stuff kind of matters to you and it can cause you trauma if your like privacy is violated so anyways she chewed me out so i was the one in the wrong for her basically um basically violating my privacy violating my what is it like my 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 second my fifth amendment rights like i'm not an american so i'm yeah it's a joke obviously but um yeah so like she's I, i'm the one who's at fault for her violating my right to privacy and well not my right obviously but like i feel most kids should have at least some privacy you know like their own personal world like detached from the parents and well she violated this and then she got mad at me and then she was like like how dare you like she just freaking like chewed me out for maybe like a good 30 minutes and then slammed door on me and then and then she was she was like by the way you're grounded you're not like you can't do this you can't do that you can't play your your uh, your playstation you can't do this and then slams a the door and then within like uh, okay so basically i'm basically like i don't know kind of like shocked at what happened and you know everything kind of just go dies down for a little bit until like the next day i go to school everything's uh the same as usual but then when i get home my mom's like still pissed at me and she's like giving me the silent treatment and <laughs> kind of ridiculous how my mom is acting like this but considering she should be emotionally mature but giving me the silent treatment and then like giving like the death stares and crap giving me like the whole like like slamming doors and like just acting real pissed off and then finally she's she uh she, while i'm doing my homework she like knocks on the door she's like okay come here to the living room i'm like uh okay so i go to the living room and she's like so i've been talking to a lot of parents and you know what you know they actually gave me a really good idea and that's a lot of them actually get their you know because i guess we had like laptops so it's like a lot of them get their you know their kids to uh you know um 
to plug in their to plug in their laptop to the uh, the TV with an HDMI cable, and um, you know they watch to do their homework. You know, a lot of parents do this. I've talked to so and so's mom and and his mom and her mom, and you know they they all do this. So you know what? I think you're going to be doing that for I don't know. You're gonna so from now on you're going to be doing that. And after you're done with your homework, you're going straight to bed. And I was like, so obviously most teenagers would fight back at this point, but for a lot of reasons, I'm pretty like scared of her at this point. So I'm like, oh, like in my mind, I have no say in the matter. You know, Asian parenting, I guess, is partly it, cultural maybe. And maybe just the way they raised me, but I'm like, oh, okay. So she plugs in my HT, she plugs in my laptop with an HDMI cable to the like the TV. And I basically have to do my homework in the living room with my laptop. Either that or I, you know, bring like notebooks and crap, like write like math homework, whatever. And I basically do that stuff for the, so I basically do that stuff and it's pretty much hell. Like I'm basically unable to chat to my friends. I basically have to, um, you know, stay off of like whatever online chat things I was using, using at the time. like was it Facebook Messenger maybe, or I think it was like the, the chat inside Google Mail um, that was like built in where I think that's what a lot of people used to chat at, like at my school. So at, like after MSN kind of like died down and it was like, yeah, so I basically did that for like the next eight months and I was unable to chat and like talk to anybody, basically had to stay offline, do my homework and then at, and then she would just sit on the couch and basically be on her laptop, but it was pretty much like hell. And um, that's just another example of her violating my right to privacy. Uh, like not my right, but you know, like my human need for privacy maybe. Like I'm pretty introverted. So I feel I need privacy from a lot of people and especially at that age, people need privacy from their parents. So, um, yeah, that was pretty traumatizing. This um, lasted for about eight weeks where, that, where I'd have to basically do my homework in front of the friggin' TV and have it basically like, I don't know, streaming to the TV and have like, it's like my dad didn't even care. Like he's a pretty chill guy, but it's just that he kind of let my mom wear the pants in the relationship so he didn't really say anything about it. He's probably like, WTF is wrong with this woman, like, to be honest, like, because I'm pretty sure, like, he knew that that was wrong himself, but he just didn't say anything. But that's another topic. But, um, yeah, so he was basically, he's basically doing that. I mean, no. She's basically doing that, and I basically, this basically continued for eight months until, not eight months, eight weeks, until eventually it kind of happened less and less. Maybe it's too much of a hassle, but I guess over time, you know, we'd maybe like skip one or two days in between each time my TV get plugged in. Eventually, I stopped plugging my TV in because, you know, even she wasn't really paying attention anymore. Um, and yeah, and finally, I was liberated from that. But during that time, like I kind of told my friends about it, and then they were like, and a lot of them were like, like, dude, like, what the, what the f is wrong with your mother? Like, like your mother, your mother is f. Like, dude, like, like why, like why, why the hell is she doing this? Like, why aren't you like saying, why aren't you saying anything? Or like, why, like Jesus Christ, like, dude, like, your life's fucked. And I mean, it's kind of true at the time. So, yeah. That's one of the fortunate downsides of having helicopter, you know, probably, you know, probably severely BPD mother. Um, and yeah, that definitely was a huge violation of my privacy. And it's honestly why, like, it's probably one of those things that are burned to my memory. And it's one of the biggest reasons why I'm always so you know, paranoid of her you know, listening in to me. I feel like she sort of changed for the better, but I always had that lingering doubt in my mind that maybe she'll come down to try and like secretly listen in whenever I'm filming videos. 
because she also does other really suspect things like leave the door open whenever I'm like talking to my like dad when she like goes to bed earlier and maybe like just talking to my dad casually she like leave the door open and you know she's brought it up in arguments like sometimes with me or my dad things that she's like overheard like even though she like wasn't in the room so it's like yeah it's just all these things kind of like make me paranoid that she's listening in on me and secretly passing judgment and um yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and say that my relationship with my mom has improved quite a bit but you know i think the point of this video is to just point out that why i'm so paranoid about you know basically being spied on by my parents but it's really mostly mostly my my mom who i don't trust in that regards so anyways um yeah, just a quick update on the self-improvement series. Um, it's kind of hard to come up with ideas and interesting things to like do with that. Um, if you guys are okay with me just talking about different concepts, maybe please let me know in the comments. But anyways, um, I think that's it for today. Um, this for this video. So this is Company signing out.